Hello, beautiful souls. Today we're talking about emotions. I think some of you believe our videos are telling you to forget them or ignore them, but that is not the case. You see, it's okay to feel any emotion, truly. We tend to label some emotions as bad or good, but that only keeps us from truly understanding and embracing them. Finding a place where our physical sensations no longer dictate our happiness is possible. You can learn to find pleasure in the feelings you once avoided, which are often the source of our suffering. Remember, it's not your fault for resisting. You were taught to do so. Unfortunately, our ego has built a system that prompts us to seek instant solutions in our minds whenever discomfort arises. But with understanding and practice, we can learn to navigate through these emotions with grace and acceptance. A thought comes along with it. A story of the future or past. A thought of fear, anxiety, or judgment. It makes it appear as if something is actually wrong with the body as it is feeling at this very moment. But what is that emotion without the mind's interpretation of it? It just is what it is. It's not anger. It's not fear. It just is what it is. It can be good to acknowledge what the emotion is, but it's not necessary. You can feel it without any label at all. These feelings don't actually mean anything. Just because the body is feeling anger, it doesn't mean you're angry or someone else is angry. Anger is just here now. This doesn't mean that if someone is running after you with a bat and you feel fear, you should just go, oh, this fear doesn't mean anything. That's not what I mean when I say they don't mean anything. What I mean is, they don't have a conceptual meaning. Feelings are our guidance systems, but they guide more through intuition, not through concepts. When you feel danger, it's not like you run to the mind for confirmation. No, you sense it. It's an unexplainable intelligence that doesn't come from the mind and is actually 1000% more intelligent than the mind. It's why I recommend reconnecting back with the body. When I say these feelings don't mean anything, I'm more so talking about the conceptual side of it. There's no need to think about the feelings. The stories attached to these feelings aren't true. The mind is just trying to find a solution for why the body feels this way, because it also believes what the body is feeling is bad. But it's not. The mind was simply taught that this feeling isn't safe, so it's searching for a solution to get you to safety, but it will never find it. If you're looking to get a handle on your emotions, relying solely on your mind for answers won't help you. You'll end up stuck in a cycle of overthinking. It's important to acknowledge and embrace the feelings that make your mind uncomfortable, to show it that every emotion is valid. Many of us have been so caught up in mental activities that we've neglected the vital connection with our bodies. I want you to try this now. Notice any sensation in the body. Is there a judgment towards this sensation? Is there a story about it or even a desire for it to change or go away? All of this has to be ignored when it comes to mastering these sensations. In the beginning, these judgments may still arise but don't believe in them. Stay with the direct experience of the sensation alone. Simply focus on the sensation and the sense that it actually doesn't mean anything. It's just here without the mind's interpretation of it. Just because the mind is connecting stories to it, that doesn't mean it's the truth. There are millions of stories the mind has made about the same sensation. Do you believe all of them are the truth? It said some pretty wild things. The mind is simply creating assumptions and lies about it. Allow it to, but remain coming back to the direct experience of the sensation only. Those thoughts will fall away naturally. Now you can't do this wrong. It really is very simple. No need to overcomplicate it. Just feel. It's not supposed to feel a certain way. However it feels is how it feels. Be with that. Now something that can really help when it comes to mastering emotions and feeling them is to get rid of the image of the body or to notice that the body is just a thought. It's just an appearance. It's not actually what it appears to be. 
When the eyes close to feel these emotions, the mind usually has an image of a body part connected to a feeling. Drop this image and experience what it would be like to not have a body. You should be feeling this sensation as the sensation, not as the body. A really good way to practice dropping the image of the body is to imagine something else while keeping your attention on the sensation. Imagine something like the sun or the moon, anything but the body. And at the same time, realize how the sensation doesn't change, even though the imagination does. Or, imagine the body with extra body parts, or see your body as a different color. This will really help you be able to sense and feel directly without the need for thoughts. It will help you sense the difference from feeling through and with the mind to feeling directly. Go ahead and try this now. I'll wait a minute. I had so many aha moments when I reconnected with my body. It became clear that there is really nothing wrong with anything. It's just thoughts we've held on to for too long. I began to see that there is nothing to fix because there was never a problem to begin with. It's all just mental chatter. When we tune back into our bodies, we start to notice two different realities. The illusion of the mind, where separation, judgment, and suffering seem real and the reality of presence, where everything just is. It's perfect and simple. You are perfect just as you are. This reconnection can allow you to notice that there is a part of you that doesn't need to be fixed or healed, a part of you that has no fears, a part of you that has no attachments, no past, no future, and no identity at all. This is pure being. Your being is free already, and it's always been. The more you sit with being, the more this will become your primary way of experiencing. It may be uncomfortable in the beginning, and of course, it will be if you haven't been giving the body attention for years, but that doesn't mean anything. Discomfort isn't good or bad, it just is what it is. Once you master emotions, you realize your potential is limitless because you are limitless. Until next time, I love you all, walk in light. I ask all people everywhere to plant seeds of love, peace, joy, and oneness.